friends welcome back in this session i am going to talk about the interview questions from operating systems operating system play a major role in uh, any interview which has got it content in it so i have decided to go with the 30 sparkling interview questions from operating system as three sessions 10 questions in each session and we will start with it right now so it's going to be very simple i'm not going to touch any code because i have already given enough of uh, coding descriptions for operating system stuff so i'm going to go with only a theoretical that two for half a minute each question shall be for half a minute that's my target define an operating system well an operating system is a resource manager that's how you need to define it in the interview many will say that it acts as an interface between the user and the computer whatever the user types the computer converts etc etc that's a very traditional answer let's not go there uh, it is very important for you guys to understand and give an answer like an operating system is a resource manager without which the resources of the system cannot be accessed or managed that's it and another point would be an added advantage if you convey an operating system is a resource manager that manages all the resources without having necessity for the user to add anything more to it or remove anything more from it that's it this is an operating system it is like brain of our body our body has got lot of resources right from head till the foot we have lot of resources in our body all of them will go unaccessible if brain is not working for example your brain dead person is asked as dead so your brain has to be the resource manager there it manages all the resources similarly an operating system is the resource manager that manages all the resources of the computer system what are the major services offered by the operating system one question is answered about i mean just just now i answered resource management resource allocation are the major work of any operating system and then program execution yes i run a code it is being executed input output operation yes i am recording it now it is input it will be recording it and i can upload it in youtube all these things are done with the help of operating system communication accounting which means i have a login account somebody else may have login account security it is taking care of the password it is taking care of access permissions all these things are taken care of by the operating system so operating system is an effective and efficient resource manager kernel what is the term all about is it same as operating system yes please understand that kernel is the very important part of any operating system without kernel i can't call something as an operating system i could call kernel as heart kidney liver of an operating system it actually is the core of an operating system you can regard kernel as an operating system and vice versa many even say that ubuntu kernel linux kernel like that because it is the one which acts as an interface between the hardware and the software setup so it is the core of the operating system hence it carries so much respect the term system calls are frequently used when someone speaks about operating system what is a system call how is it different from the functions used in the programming language well this is a good question and this could be asked in the interview what is a system call first or before that what is a function first a function like printf or scanf could be used from any platform it is not operating system dependent for example i can use printf and scanf in windows i can use printf and scanf in linux also i have no problem with it but a system call like fork fork cannot be used other than cannot be used other than operating systems like linux flavored operating systems it cannot be used in windows so system calls are something which are very specific to an operating system like the fork write read dup dup to all these are the system calls that are pretty much specific to one operating system and that's why they are called system calls next question can you relate microprocessor with an operating system yes your microprocessor without an operating system cannot function for example i have a microprocessor in my laptop right now it might not function well or it cannot function without an operating system i need a windows or i need a ubuntu or i need a linux for it to work a microprocessor will be useless without an operating system is the point you explain the term bootstrap program how is it useful simple when a system is switched on right when a system is switched on the operating system should be loaded into memory so this work is generally done with the bootstrap program that initializes the operating system actually we cannot have a lot of stuff inside the rom read only memory which is non volatile i mean it will have a very little part of code there and that little part of code is going to invoke a huge part of code to load the operating system and that is what is referred as bootstrap loader or bootstrap program okay please remember that what is real time define it with an example okay simple i'll give you a very uh, simple example you can uh, connect it to it uh, for the remembrance purpose 
so i go in a car right now i apply brake when is the car expected to stop it is expected to stop immediately this is real time okay i type something in a word document it might appear little later on the screen is it real time no this is not critical real time stuff because car braking if it is not stopping it may lead to an accident but whatever word document i am typing it may not lead to an accident and it is not going to kill someone so it cannot be called as ha- critically real time requirement so now real time can be defined as logical correctness of the operation within a deterministic deadline what is the logical correctness the car has to stop within a deterministic deadline it has to stop immediately and do we tell the input time can we tell the car brake that dude i am going to apply brake by 5:30 pm no we cannot tell them. so the input can be given any time which is unpredictable it is expected to perform 100% precisely every time and that is called as real time you logical correctness of the operation within a deterministic deadline every time is regarded real time how do you define real time operating system any operating system which can work with the above requirement being met for example if an operating system is capable of giving you a response in real time without any delay every time precisely it can be regarded as real time operating system what is a general purpose operating system a general purpose operating system may cause delay for example whatever windows or ubuntu i have is a general purpose operating system and we could use it for multiple purposes but real time operating system is used in embedded systems which will do only one purpose which will serve only one purpose that's the point please remember it without fail explain the terms hard deadline and soft deadline if i'm applying brake it should stop immediately otherwise it will kill people it is called hard deadline soft deadline i am typing something it may display in the screen after half a minute it is not going to kill anybody so this is soft deadline when the deadlines are very much critical for a life to be saved or very much critical for some operation to be done we call it hard deadline please remember it it's an important question now what is a batch process this is again an important question which most of us should know uh, when we go for the operating system interview a process which can execute itself without user intervention which means i should not do anything it has to run on itself that is called batch process for example whenever uh, we have to run certain scripts that has to run in a specified interval of time repeatedly that can be done through the batch process so please remember batch process is something that can execute itself without an intervention of the user i'll come back with more questions in the next session with 10 10 different questions in the next session i hope this is useful Uh, please give your comments and please subscribe if you like the channel i'll come back with better questions in the next session thank you for following my channel thank you very much